I'm cutting my starboard case, team set case, for the uh, Millennium 1000 wing and also the 95 centimeter fuselage. So, so far I'm cutting off pieces to kind of wedge in and my idea is I'm going to have the Millennium wing go here and here's where the actual cutout will be and we'll go down here and I'm going to only make this as deep as possible but cut an extra groove, uh, let's see, cut an extra deep groove right here so the wing tips will go down in like that. I'm just kind of going in layers. Since it's already layers, I just have to, this exacto blade does a really good job just cutting it. And I can kind of remove it layer by layer. The glue is pretty weak anyway, so it's able just kind of to kind of pull off this section, just like this. And this layer of glue seems to be holding on just fine. I'm trying to tear at the glue seam. Ready for a first test fit without anything else in here. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, that's pretty cool. This, uh, this fits right in there nicely. Let's see, go through here. And this should be able to fit, it should be below, my goal is to have it below the mast, and I think all I need to do is take out one foam spacer in between, and I can stack them up nicely through here. To load the team set bag, I found what works best is to do the 115 fuselage, the half the cut piece of foam, the 95 centimeter fuselage on top, and another half piece of foam. Maybe do the 75 centimeter fuselage and the full piece of foam. And these three wings, the 550, they actually touch during the actual piece right here. They don't actually touch the wings too much. So I think I'll be okay, 800. And of course I'll check this to make sure it's not being banged around. And then 1000 millennium right on top. And for the 255 and 330, I just put them in like this. Touching, and I put a cover on top. Also cover on top. Mast, mast, and the cover right here. So good to go in the water.